Alright, so we're going to start our video with our radiator. This is a 360mm by 120mm radiator provided by EKWB. I have chosen a slightly longer one than usual because this radiator will be cooling both our CPU and our GPU. And talking about cooling, our radiator will evacuate its excess heat uh, thanks to those three 120mm Cooler Master Aura compliant fans. Note that they are rated to move up to 35 CFM worth of airflow. And on top of it all, it only produces up to 20 decibel of noise, once again keeping the noise footprint of our computer to a minimum. Every fan comes with with two plugs, one for its electricity supply and the other one for its Aura compliant RGB connector. Let's move to our case. In order to install the radiator, we first have to remove uh, its aluminum roof. It's not very hard, simply gently pull upward on it and it should come right off. On your screen and in blue, we can see where the radiator will sit and underneath it in green where our three 120mm fan will be fixed and secured. But before installing any of them, we first have to remove our five and a quarter inch tray model. It shouldn't take us too long. In order to do so, we first have to unscrew and remove the front panel IO bridge. So we are going to remove the four screws which are securing it to the case and right under Underneath it, we will find two more screws which needs to be removed in order to detach our bay tray. We are not done, we still need to unscrew four more screws from the front of our case. Once done, our tray model should pop right off. Alright, finally, time to move on and install the radiator and its fans. In red and on your screen, the bracket holes which are compatible to 120mm wide radiator. Nothing very complicated here, we are simply going to sandwich the bracket between our fans and the radiator. On its outer side, we will have the radiator and in its inner side, the fans. A piece of advice here, make sure that all the fans cable are facing the back of your case. Uh, that means the back of your motherboard. It'll uh, allow us a cleaner and easier cable management later on onto our series. As you may already have noticed, there's not much clearance between the motherboard and the fan. So uh, go slow when securing the fans onto the radiator and make sure not to scratch any components in the process. As for the positioning of the radiator, I kept it in an outlet facing the front of our case. And that's because the reservoir will be right underneath it. So pay attention and make sure not to put it backward. And now that we are done with that, we simply have to put back the I.O. front panel back in its position and secure it back with its four original screws. Alright, time to move on onto the installation of our reservoir. We have here a 250mm long, probably the tallest one produced by EKWB to this day. It comes with a pair of holding brackets and some water plugs and a plastic mesh. And its installation is pretty straightforward. Simply uh, place the brackets uh, in the position as shown on your screen. And once done, we simply have to snap the reservoir into place and orient it so that the EKWB logo faces the back of our case. And finally, here is the time to install our D5 pump. Again, not much to it, but first let's take a closer look to the pump. This is its base, which will be used to secure it into position. This is its water outlet, and this is its water inlet. To better secure our pump onto our chassis, we are going to use a 140mm pump bracket. It's not rocket science, simply follow the instructions on your screen and make sure to use the little plastic rings before securing in the screws. So the last step on this video is to simply secure our 140mm bracket and the pump directly onto the chassis. Um, as you can see, we have perfectly positioned uh, screw holes which uh, were destined to some 140mm fans and in our case, uh, it just works out perfectly. Alright, next step, connecting this mess all together.